Hello everyone and welcome to the 2019 edition of our Machine Learning Focus AWS Innovate Online Conference. My name is Will Better and I'm a Senior Technical Account Manager here at AWS, specializing in machine learning. And today, I want to tell you about Amazon SageMaker Grand Truth. In this session, I'll discuss some of the use cases for Grand Truth, and then I'll show you how it works in detail. After that, I'll walk you through an end-to-end -end demo to show you how to use the service. This session is a technical session, so I'm assuming that you have basic machine learning and Amazon SageMaker knowledge. So let's get us started. Ground Truth is a new capability in Amazon SageMaker that makes it quite easy and secure for anyone to efficiently and accurately label the data sets that are required for training machine learning systems and models. Ground Truth can automatically label a portion of the data set and then send the rest to human workers for labeling. It uses innovative algorithms and user experience techniques in order to improve the accuracy of the human labeling. Over time, the model becomes progressively better by continuously learning from the labels that were created by humans. And then we increase the portion of the dataset that is labeled automatically. Before we dive deeper into the grand truth, let's cover some of the important concepts in machine learning. Machine learning problems start with data, preferably lots of data. This is data for which you already know the target answer. And we can call this target a label. In this type of machine learning, the algorithm teaches itself to learn from the labeled example that we provide. This type of learning is referred to as supervised learning. Supervised learning algorithms takes raw inputs and associate them with the ground truth labels. These labels need to be assigned by humans. And in order to build the training datasets, human labelers need to evaluate a large number of images or any other data types, and then identify and label specific objects in each data type. Let's take an example of an image classifier that recognizes cats and dogs. We need to provide the algorithm with a few images of cats and dogs along with the ground truth label. Then the algorithm will learn the correlation and the relation between the image and the target label so that when you give it a new image that it hasn't seen before, it will be able to identify and recognize the new image. So why is data labeling difficult? Supervised learning algorithms are extremely powerful, but they require a lot of manual efforts and are prone to errors. They also require distributing the task over a large number of human workers, which can add the significant overhead and cost. It also leaves room for human bias and errors. Building the training dataset can take up to 80% of the time needed to build a deep learning model. And as the datasets get more complex, the problem becomes more acute. Let's take self-driving cars as an example. Self-driving cars involves a type of image processing technique called sem semantic segmentation. Semantic segmentation requires some form of an advanced labeling technology in which you need to classify multiple objects within an image on the pixel level by associating each pixel with a class label. This kind of labeling is needed for highly precise object detection solutions. That's because we need to know where the human are in relation to your car and where the street signs are in relation to the self-driving car. It also involves great human efforts. Amazon SageMaker Grand Truth solves this problem by making it easy to efficiently perform highly accurate data labeling tasks using the data stored in Amazon S3. It provides a managed experience where you can set up an end-to-end -end labeling job with just a few clicks. 
It also helps with increasing the accuracy of the data labeling performed by humans. And to do that, we use a technique called annotation consolidation. Don't worry about the terminologies for now because I'll cover them in more details in the next few slides. Now, let's dive a little deeper into the value propositions that I just mentioned. After pointing to your data source in a S3 bucket, Ground Truth offers a set of templates for the common labeling tasks, such as text classification to categorize and classify text, semantic segmentation, and as I mentioned before, this is used to draw a pixel level label around specific objects and segments in an image. Object detection by drawing bounding boxes around specific objects, or even a custom template where you can customize a set of instructions for workers to label your datasets. When you select a workforce to perform labeling, you can choose one of the three options. You can either send the labeling task to the public mechanical Turk workforce, or you can use one of the pre-approved third parties that are listed in the AWS marketplace, such as iMerit or Start or any other third party vendor. Or you can even bring your own internal workers. And what that means is that we host a labeling application on which you can onboard those workers. And then they can start working on your labeling job without having to expose your data set to the public. Another feature of Grand Truth is the automated data labeling. Automated data labeling uses machine learning to label the data automatically using innovative technique called active learning. Active learning can look at the training data set and identify which portion of the data is well understood and can be potentially labeled automatically. And then which data is not well understood and needs to be sent to humans to look at and label. Now, let's talk a bit more on how it works. It all starts with data, raw data, which as yet doesn't have the labels needed. Let's say that we have a bunch of images, but we don't know what's inside those images, and we need to label them accordingly. First, the algorithm will select a random sample of the input data set then send it to human workers to be labeled. In order to increase the quality and accuracy of the labeled data and eliminate the errors or bias of individual workers, Ground Truth will use a feature called annotation consolidation. It works by sending each data object to multiple workers and then consolidates the responses into a single label. It uses an algorithm that detects outlier labels or annotations, then it performs a weighted consolidation of the annotations. And it does that by assigning more weights to the more reliable annotations. The output of this process is a single label for each object. The results of this process will create a small labeled data set. And then it'll take this small data set and train a special custom machine learning model using SageMaker in your own AWS account. I'll then try to run the rest of the raw data through that model. If the model has a high confidence in the results based on what it has learned so far, it'll apply the automatic annotation to the training data. If the confidence score falls below the threshold, the data will be sent back to human workers. Some of the data labeled by humans is used to generate a new training data set for the labeling model. And the model is automatically retrained to improve its accuracy. As the labeling model becomes more capable of automatically labeling raw data with each iteration, you end up with much less data routed back to humans. I'll keep repeating this cycle until all of your data is completely labeled. Now, let's take a look at the ground truth in action in order to better understand how the features work. Now I'm gonna walk you through how to create a data labeling job. 
When you create a labeling job, there are three main parts or aspects that you need to cover. First, you need to point to the input data set. Then you need to tell us what you need to perform in that data set. Then finally, you need to specify and configure the workforce. Now I'll walk you through each of these pieces. In the context of this demo, I have a very small unlabeled dataset of 20 images, and I want to use it in order to build a model that recognizes and differentiates between motorcycles and bicycles. After you give a name to the labeling job, you need to provide an input manifest. Each object in the input data is described in a manifest file. And each line in the manifest file is an entry containing an object to label. We can create this file on your behalf. You just need to upload your data set to an S3 location. Then we can automatically generate that manifest file by clicking here. And then you need to provide the S3 location of the data set. Here's an example of the input manifest that I'm using. As you can see, each line is a JSON object and it points to the URL of that object that you need to label. Now let's get back to the console. You also provide us where we will output the labeled data. I will use the same bucket with a prefix or folder called output. Now we need to give the job enough permissions to get the data set from the S3 bucket by creating an IAM role for this bucket. You can also select whether you want to label the full data set, or you can just choose a random sample of this data set. Or you can even filter the data set by specifying a query. But in this example, I'm choosing the full data set because it's quite small. We also give you the option to encrypt the output of the labeling job. Now the second aspect of the labeling job is to select the type of the task. This is what is actually going to be performed on the task. And if you remember, I'm trying to identify whether the provided image is a motorcycle or a bicycle. So I'm actually going to do an image classification task, and this is pretty simple. Basically, I will show an image and ask if this is a motorbike or bicycle. Now let's move to the third aspect. And here you need to choose one of the three workforce types. In this demo, I'll leave it as public. Next, I have to ensure that there's no adult content in my images. And I also need to make sure that I'm not sending any sensitive data to the public workforce. Now we need to provide or configure the actual task that the labeling workforce will see. Here, we give some description to the task. The labels and the information panel that we give to the labelers to make sure that they have some basic information about each label. Now, let's take a look at what the human workers will see by clicking on the preview button. This is exactly what they will see. They can look at the image and select one of the two options that you previously predefined. Now I'll select an option and click Submit. Going back to the console, I want to show you how to enable automatic labeling. It's as simple as clicking on that checkbox. Once the data labeling job is completed, it'll take the output labels augment that initial manifest you provided, and drop that into your S3 bucket. Let's have a look at the completed job. And if we scroll down, you can see some of the objects that has been labeled. If we click on one of these objects or images, you can see more details of the output of that label. The output manifest contains exactly the same data as we see here. Now we can take a look at what the output manifest file looks like. As you can see, there are multiple fields. Each line represents 
the object that has been labeled along with some metadata like the confidence score, the object name or the job name, the class name, and whether or not the object was labeled by humans. Now, let's take a step back and see what all of this means for you. First and foremost, Ground Truth makes your data labeling easy. It also helps you reduce your total cost of data labeling by up to 70%. It can help you securely manage your data set and increase the accuracy of your labeled data. Thanks a lot for watching. To learn more, visit the demo arena and watch how machine learning is used in real life applications and get your questions answered by AWS experts. To gain more confidence and hands-on experience with AWS, access the digital training built by AWS experts. Also, you can attend our instructor-led classes by qualified AWS instructors and learn how to design, deploy, and operate highly available, cost-effective, and secure application AWS. Thank you again for attending, and we really appreciate your feedback so that we can better understand the topics and services you would like to know more about. So please do take the time to fill out our survey and let us know what you think. I hope you guys enjoyed this session and I'll see you next time.